back to my film and TV channel. Yes, we've got a, a musical to look at today. We don't get many of these, do we? And I'm a, a big musical theatre fan, as, as you probably know. I'm a good uh, fan of musical films as well. So, yeah, I'm going to look at something called, well, yes, not a very pleasant title, I suppose, Dicks the Musical. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything, film and TV, of course, uh, reviews like this, information vlogs. Great to have you on board. Spread the word if you can, guys. Give us a give us a like if you like uh, Dicks the musical. I have to be careful what I said then. Uh, or just give us a like if you like my attempt to uh, give you the information on it. Or give us a thumbs up, guys. It'd be much appreciated. Yes, it's an adult musical comedy, as you'd expect. Directed by Larry Charles, based on the off-Broadway musical Fucking Identical Twins. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, by Josh Sharp and Aaron Jackson, who actually starred in this as well. Uh, they're a pair of identical twins who plot to reunite their divorced parents. So, yes, a little bit of parent trap here, but uh, a little bit darker than the ones I've seen, that's for sure. On October the 6th, 2023, it was released in the US and worldwide, so you should be able to see it or get it on streaming very soon. This also stars, as well as Sharp and Jackson, Nathan Lane, yes, one of my favourites, Megan Mullally, another one of my favourites, Owen Yang as God, okay, Megan Three Stallion as Gloria, and Tom Kenny as Backpack. There you go. What's it about? Well, I think we've touched upon it, haven't we? Two business adversaries who realise they're identical twin brothers, not very identical to me, decide to switch places to reunite their divorced parents so they can all become an actual family again. Oh. Nice thought, nice thought. These scores are as at the 13th of November 2023. Rotten Tomatoes critics, uh, although it's only scoring 5.9 out of 10, 69% of the 94 critics were positive on it, so it's all, all okay. 65 fresh and 29 rotten. The consensus read, from its eyebrow-raising title to its gleefully provocative humour, talented cast and catchy songs, I wouldn't say that, Dixie Musical is a cult movie in the making. It's certainly not Rocky Horror Show, that's for sure. Metacritic, the other site we'll look at. Their average, uh, yeah, similar, 57 out of 100 based on 29 critics. 14 were positive, 12 were mixed, and 3 were negative. The public, yeah, the public, uh, again, bit mi bit mixish, a bit, bit mid-table mid for the public. Rotten Tomatoes audience, 3.5 out of 5, which is pretty good. But Internet Movie Database, uh, over 1,200 scores and reviews, 5.6 out of 10. So just a little bit below that 6 out of 10 I like to see. Right, my thoughts, guys. Well, this is yes, this is parent trap for grown ups, I suppose, or for people who like silly dark humour. Uh, Megan Mullally and Nathan Lane, as I've said, are stand out in this for me. I like them anyway, so uh, that helps. The others, I could probably take them or leave them. Sharp and Jackson trying for me far too hard in this and generally not succeeding. Uh, yeah, touches touches of, of, of other comedy actors are trying to capture, but it just didn't work for me. On a first listen, the songs are not much to uh, write home about. as a sort of modernish rap one that was okay. Uh, and I doubt on listening again and again, if I probably will not, uh, but if I did, I doubt they get that more interesting the more listens you give them. Just got a feel, I remember in, the, in my 20s uh, going to watch... Uh, a film I think I was actually on my own I was doing a doing a museum we a museum three or four days in London and uh, I went to see a, a musical called Lust uh, that was on one of the theatres there and it reminded me of that a little bit one of these throwaway sort of adult uh, musicals that you get that gets a short run on the West End or off Broadway as as this one probably did that sort of you go for the jugular as far as adult storytelling are concerned and, and do have the odd hu bit of humour in it I don't and I'm not saying I didn't make me smile occasionally this uh, this musical. But it's one of those where I always think the the actors are having more fun than the audience, and that's a nev never a good sign. Uh, Lane and Mulally rescue this for me. That's the only reason probably I kept on watching it. I, I might even give it another watch at some stage, see if a couple of the songs do grow on me, but uh, just to watch Lane and Mulally, uh, basically. Uh, the boredom and silliness for me sort of just outweighs the dark and funny moments, which there are. Uh, thankfully, though, it weighs in at just over 90 minutes, which is fine. This has been two hours, two and a half hours plus, as some musicals are, three hours. Hours even uh, I think I would have been uh, desperate to turn off at some stage but at 90 minutes um, there's not not enough time for a numb bum that's for sure so there you go my scores on this I would have to be rotten I couldn't give this fresh on rotten tomatoes I'd have to be mixed 
on Metacritic. And I'm going to score, I am going to score it because of those two people that I've already mentioned. I'm going to give it my minimum score of 5 out of 10. But uh, as I say, not, not a disaster, but um, not far off. So I'll give it that. Let me know what you think, guys. Great to hear from you. What you thought of this film or anything to do with film and TV, let me know. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, you know, that's one thing to have, please. Stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.